Hi guys, it's Huck here. Well, I was going to do a first 15 minute video on Evil, but the game was actually so bad that I managed, I actually had to get a refund on the game. So instead, I'm going to talk about GamerCon. Ah, this is GamerCon. March the 18th, 19th, GamerCon Convention Centre Dublin, GameStop. Uh, wow! Okay. Uh, if you don't know about this, take a fucking seat. Now, I'm going to say to you guys, I did not go to GamerCon. Uh, I've got a five-year-old daughter and a extremely non-gamer wife. And the idea of spending the weekend going to a games convention at this moment in time not on the cards for me Game GamerCon who, if I can find the right on Twitter advertise themselves as join us and 20,000 gamers in Dublin from the 18th to the 19th of March at the convention centre then London, Berlin and Madrid sounds good doesn't it? Uh, only one problem uh, it turned out that they actually sold 25,000 tickets for the two day event and the convention centre only held 7,000 people. Voila! Families left fuming as hundreds of t hundreds turned away from overbooked GamerCon in Dublin. Now, in case you're wondering what they mean by overbooked, then that is part of the queue and I believe somewhere here I have a map and here it is this is the front door of the convention and the queue which at one time was five hours long in the wait ran all the way up to the end of the street down back across the street back around and along okay if you want to Google Dublin Convention Centre then on Google Maps and see exactly what distance we're talking here, uh, we're talking nothing short of nothing short of fucking criminal. Uh, now, like I said, I didn't attend it. Uh, I, I had no intentions of going, and I'm glad I didn't. Uh, apparently, there's people. There was th there was queues of five hours. What happened was once the convention centre reached its capacity of seven thousand people, they decided to stop the queue and only let people in when other people left. I don't know how. They, in fact, here, apparently today, the organisers are blaming health and safety restrictions. They fucking they knew the convention centre only held seven thousand people, but they thought that once the place filled up that they could it would be a steady stream coming in and a steady stream coming out but if you're a gamer and you're, you want to go and see the new games see the new thing let's pretend that the new Call of Duty game I don't know what, the, what do the cool kids play these days Mass Effect 3 let's say right uh, game is going to have a sneak peek then how many of those 7,000 or more like Twelve and a half thousand people are wanting to see that particular clip. Of course, they're all going to want to get in the door at the same time. It's that you're not going to get. Oh, do you want that gamers convention? Let's buy the tickets uh, two months in advance, but we won't turn up at the beginning. We'll wait till lunchtime, then we'll go just see what happens. These are fucking criminals. Reports say twenty-five thousand tickets were sold for the two-day event, but the venue can only take seven thousand people at a time. Some people reported queues of up to five hours getting into the event. Enjoy this part. Fair use. So, yeah. And here we have, it, it, it's so funny because here's on Sunday, this because this has been recorded Sunday night, so this was nine hours ago, 
Gamer Con are actually officially saying queues update average 15 minute wait now end to end queues moving quickly right then why are people being told at the top of queue to go home because the numbers have dropped due to huge negative publicity yesterday and refund requests for today right it's it's outrageous four hours ago they told me I had to wait five hours to meet Ali A, I don't know. I'm not waiting and he's the only person I wanted to meet. Better get a refund. I can't believe that a company like that is allowed to do what they did. If you had a 300 seat airplane and you sold, what, 425 tickets for the plane? Th for 525 tickets, I apologise, right, for a 300 seat airplane. Then what would you expect? Even in their fucking their own statements for the game join us and 20,000 gamers so that means the their minimum on their advert is 3,000 more than that the convention actually holds and here they have uh, apologies for severe delays we are quickly working through the queues as quickly Refriend, requ refund request processed here here's the thing there's people there was one I, I apologize if I can find a tweet I will there you go Coming up from Cork, hotels, travel, VIP ticket for my 10 year old son. Extremely worried by what I'm seeing on Twitter and the app. You're not just talking about people that bought tickets, you're talking about people who bought tickets, travelled all the way to the games convention, spend loads of money taking a whole family, right? We kids wanting to go and see fucking Legend of Zelda or some fucking hate. And here's these criminals robbing their money and leaving them sit on the street in the pissing rain for five hours. It's a fucking disgrace and uh, you should share the word. Let everybody know that GamerCon are a bunch of con men. Uh, sorry it wasn't the first 15. Uh, if you want a laugh, I could upload the first 15 at Evil. But like I said, I got the game refunded because it, was, it crashed three times. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this. Like, comment, share, let everybody know how fucked up GamerCon is. I'll link my articles in the description. Till next time guys, this is Huck. Peace. Out.